At the 2018 War for Literacy Conference in Grand Forks, North Dakota, hundreds of students met at Central High School to discuss how reading and writing can impact their lives and better their community. Award-winning author Andrew Smith flew from California and gave the opening keynote speech, sharing his own stories of overcoming adversity and following one's dreams. I think it's really fun. I've done this the last two years, so I've gone every year that they've had it so far, and I have never not enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was really nice to uh, like actually get a real perspective from a real person. It was very inspiring to actually hear what people think and what their personal perspectives are. Uh, when I told my parents that I wanted to be a writer, they were very much opposed to the idea of that. I mean, I don't know if it was a different time, a different generation or whatever, but my father was an engineer. Um, and they did not want me to be a writer, but and, you know, probably the surest way that you can get a teenager to do something is uh, to tell him not to do it. And so I didn't want to do to my son what my parents did to me, which is to discourage him and kind of like make this as, you know, some kind of negative thing that he had to overcome. I took my family out to dinner. This was going to be the big reveal. And I can see my mother-in-law is looking at me with like these big old love eyes like she's thinks that I'm going to tell her that we're having another baby or something. And then I tell them the story and I say, yeah, I've been writing and uh, this novel, this first novel that I submitted sold. And, um, and now I'm going to be a writer, I guess. And uh, my son, who was seven or eight years old at the time, looked at me and he said this, and this is, this is the absolute truth. He said, thanks, Dad, for being the role model. And, uh, you know, that was like, you know, I always get, I still, after all these years, I get kind of weepy um, uh, telling that story. And, uh, and now, he uh, recently graduated from UC Berkeley, and he's, uh, he's tr a tremendously talented writer, musician, artist kind of guy. Andrew Smith, his parents kind of let him down when he was younger. And, like, he, like, kept going on and he kept moving inspirational, I guess. Writing with others lets you realize how much you have in common, I guess. What's a poem? Yes, I wrote a poem. It was called. So running into teenage life like you sing, being as reflective and introspective like Barack, mm. an amazing individual bringing change like I'm okay, mm. but it's all about realizing myself like me. Y'all, yeah, that's his identity. Because I want us to give back to him at least a couple of a couple of feedback. A couple. Of, you know, I heard some some actual responses from you all. I heard some snaps. I heard some 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 verbal responses. It opens this up to a whole world. We can get a better idea of what you're trying to communicate. Most of us know what it's like to be a teenager, even after the generation that's past using the pager. Mm -hmm. Some of us <laughs> don't see a time for change but others might want their book to turn a page. Yeah, 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 keep it going strong. So they're using their words. Young people are using their words uh, to create a new story for us. And I hope their words and their story stays true for a long time. Those kids are art machines. And they're alarm clocks, too. They're not warriors. Warriors make permanent enemies, or warriors have to kill the opposition and kids all over America are showing us how to be social justice alarm clocks. And they're waking us up. So, use your art machines. And don't let them use you. It's time to wake everybody up with your art machines. And don't be afraid to show us how to make a better world. We are misunderstood. We don't treat others like family. We treat others like enemies. We're becoming robots of society. Saying goodbye to diversity. It's not as exciting as being yourself. Perspective is all about reflecting upon your life. My universe was expanded. I hope that yours has gotten a little bit bigger uh, in our time here together and that you've enjoyed your day. And so, uh, once again, thank you to all of you for coming. Thank you to the volunteers. I enjoyed uh, Patrick Henry's session. It really helped me out with furthering my prompts and plots for writing stories and I feel it would help me out later on in life when I do become a writer. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks, Allison. Bye.